Knowledge of our body is a good thing. It's very empowering and we're going to spend today and tomorrow getting more in tune with a little bit more information about the anatomy and physiology of the respiratory system. This is Minky Wellness. I'm Dr. Peter Minky. And with this knowledge, I believe we can get more in tune with the actual physical processes that are going on. We'll start to feel the physiology of, of, the, of the lungs and what's going on. We start to pay attention to parts of our body that we maybe didn't, we certainly haven't thought about or didn't even know that we're there. And so this is what we're going to do today and tomorrow. And as we go with yesterday, we already looked, if you haven't watched yesterday's video, I recommend you do that. And we already kind of did breathing into the lungs and feeling left and right and breathed into the front and the back and we kind of got a sense of that. Now we're going to go in a little more detail and breathe down into the structures of the lungs and get a feel for what they do. Okay, so I'm going to bring out my diagram again and we look at this. And so if we start looking at more detail of the lungs, what do we have, right? Well, we have, we can just take our breathing and start at the top and move down. And kind of the first things that we'll be uh, breathing into would be the back of the throat and down to, you know, would be the pharynx, the uh, uh, oropharynx and nasopharynx are up. We'll, we'll do upper respiratory a little bit, but uh, breathe into the, the oropharynx, which is the back of the throat, feel the trachea, and then this tube that comes down the rest of the trachea coming all the way down. And then that splits off to the uh, bronchus uh, left and right and then did little bronchial. So let's let's pay attention to this air pathway and and just kind of pay it and, and get us uh, a little bit more aware of this tube. So as I mentioned yesterday, we're talking about a listening breath. So I'm going to take a breath in. And someone if ever had this question already, is that what if I can't breathe through my nose? That's okay. Breathe through the mouth. Uh, what the breath is really part of is just the journey inward into the body and using our imagination to follow the breath. So if we follow that breath, and whether it's through the mouth or through the nose, obviously if we're doing sinuses, it's going to be much easier. We'll do that and maybe we'll even get to it tomorrow. Um, but the sinuses um, are going to be easier if we can breathe through the nose. But right now we're just breathe in, follow the air into the back of the throat and feel the back of the throat. Well, you're going to have some some structure in there. It's mostly soft, you know, sort of mucousy uh, structure. And just feel, breathe into this as a listening breath and feel what's going on there. Now, for me, I immediately feel the tension in my neck. So sometimes we're breathing our awareness into a part of the body, but there's other things the body wants. <laughs> it's like, oh, what about that tension in the neck? We need to deal with that. So sometimes we we're not necessarily getting the message, you know, of what we're listening for, but the body starts to talk to us. And if you start to experience that, that's very normal. The body starts kind of talking, say, hey, you're listening, I'm gonna tell you what's up. Sometimes that's not always pleasant. Sometimes the body, you get these little pains that you're like, okay, now I'm starting to get in touch with my body and I'm starting to feel these pains. Unfortunately, uh, that is the fact that they're already there. In other words, that that pain's already there. You're not creating that pain. It's now you're finally listening. Uh, as you breathe through it and you get, get more well in general, and we'll talk more about doing self-massage and things like that, maybe those things will help. Um, but yes, it can be rough getting in and getting in touch with the body. So I encourage you to work through that, drink your water, uh, do you use some oils? Get your, you know, get your, uh, uh, all get the whole wellness program going here, so that everything can be moving in that direction. Okay, I digress. So we're gonna breathe in again, and feel this tube. And I'm just doing a listening breath. I've been using light as my example for a listening breath. Anything that has a dark spot or a blemish. And I'm really just using the whole tube in this trachea, Adam's apple area, and, and feeling. It's hard for me uh, right at the moment to get this three-dimensional uh, experience. I'm kind of, you know, in my mind, I've got this sort of, you know, part of that looking at the diagram, this two-dimensional. So what I'm going to do to help me get this, uh, get in touch with this is to use my RC oil. Um, and, and in, incorporate that with the inhalation because I know this is going to give me a little tingle and give me that uh, a little bit more physical awareness of the breathing. Uh, and this is why I picked um, RC. We have Myrtle as well, but so I'm going to give us 
uh, just a couple, three drops of my Young Living RC oil, and I'm gonna use that to enhance my inhalation. And that really hones in and gives me that awareness of the trachea and start to actually feel as that tube goes down and it branches off and, and I can start to feel that when I've got the oil I'm breathing in because there's that little tingle the oil gives. So, um, okay, so that's the, I'm, I'm kind of still focusing on the central and listening breath in there. And if I feel like I need to enhance that, bring some love or light, I can do that with an action breath and make this all nice and sparkly. One of the images I've used in the past uh, and and um, I think it's fun, and I don't know if you may be dating myself here, but there's a commercial way back when I was a kid about these, uh, these a bathroom cleaner that would, the, the bubbles would, would come out of the sponge and would scrub the bathroom by themselves, this kind of magic bubbles, and they would leave everything nice and sparkly clean. And so I've actually used that image to breathe in the sparkly bubbles, the scrubby bubbles, and, and to you know, get everything nice and sparkly clean. Sometimes that's a, a, a fun image I use, but I'll use that now to breathe into this trachea, into this tube, and imagine those scrubby bubbles coming in and just cleaning everything out. So just another way to engage the mind in, into a, a helpful way with this breathing. So I'm gonna go into the left lung now and feel the, the pipes, those bronchia, the bronchus and the bronchioles as they branch out. And I'm gonna feel that, pay attention to that. Rather than just this bag or air balloon, I really wanna get into the fact that this is a, a fairly dense tissue um, and it, 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 it's got all these little air pockets that fill up, expand and then come back down. And I wanna kinda of get in tune with that. So I'm gonna be following those, again, following the air, following down into those tubes. Now, I have a tendency to be to the front, so I'm, I forget the back, so I'm gonna go ahead and reach back and fill the back as well with that same sense of following these tubes. So, starting to get a feel for how the air is moving in those tubes, and if uh, inviting, again, the oil, inviting the light to come in and really uh, give me a, a better awareness of that. If there's any dark spots or sluggish spots, now I could use an, an uh, uh, action breath, sending light or scrubby bubbles into the lung. So that felt really kind of nice. And again, I think uh, uh, I, I'm still feeling this strand out to the outside edge. And so getting in there and, and breathing in into the meat of the lung, uh, the actual tissue itself. Now I'm gonna do the right side and feel, again, just follow the airway in to the front and then to the back. And starting to feel, again, the tension in the shoulders that are, that are affecting this, this ability to get in touch. And so kind of just wiggle the shoulders a little bit. <sighs> Exhale, <sighs> inhale and try again for the right. And just feeling that light come into the lung tissue itself and invite healing. Uh, we're gonna do more cleansing breaths in, in next week uh, of how to, or the week after that, or how to really use breath to cleanse the scrubby bubbles as one image, but to, to really get in touch with how we can get that physiology changing in, in our favor. Now, so here's still structure, I'm talking about the lungs, breathing in to those tubes and down into those little bronchi. Now we get down to the end point and we get these little sacs, these little alveoli, so now we're all the way down into the, uh, into the, the detailed part of the lungs. And there's so much surface area in the lungs that actually if you spread out the lungs over just flat, it's like the size of a basketball court. So, and, and these are all these little sacs that are, are, they fill up like little balloons and then come in a little grape almost like look like little grape sacks. So I'm gonna kinda use my imagery again, use the help of this little picture, and I'm gonna 
see, feel if I can invite that air to come all the way down and, and get my mind's eye kind of honed in or zoomed in to the cellular level and feel those sacs, okay? So I'm just gonna do that. I'm gonna pick a spot. Uh, I guess you pick up on the right-hand side here and up top. And really feel myself zoom in, kind of like one of those spaceship views, and, and come in to get the detail of those little sacs. Now, what's happening at that? See, here's now we get into the physiology. This is anatomy. We've been doing kind of feeling the structure. Now we've got the physiology. What's happening? We've got gas exchange. So I'm going to bring that oxygen. I'm going to ask that oxygen to be really vitalized, sparkly, uh, and, and I'm going to bring that vital oxygen in, and I'm going to feel it go into the bloodstream, which is where that, see that those sacs meet the bloodstream. They're really wrapped in, in, in a very heavily vascularized uh, capillary beds, and I really want to feel that oxygen get into the bloodstream. So I'm going to do that, uh, uh, inhale, get that sparkly oxygen in, and start to feel that, invite that oxygen to penetrate into the bloodstream. Okay, so we're getting past the lungs now, getting that oxygen in. Now, with the exhale, what happens in the physiology? We're, we're getting rid of carbon dioxide, right? So we, let's, let's take a moment and pay attention to that. We breathe in that oxygen, pause, and now in that pause, we're going to let that carbon dioxide come in and pull and almost with a, feel that kind of pulling that carbon dioxide out of the bloodstream and into the lungs and then exhale it out. Do that one more time. At the pause, pull the carbon dioxide out. Let the carbon dioxide come into the lungs that are now inhaled, inflated, and blow that carbon dioxide out. So this is a lot. If you've never done any imagery and you've never engaged in, in starting to get in touch with your body, what we just did here, that's a lot. That's a lot to start to get in touch with. So we're going to leave it for now, and tomorrow we'll do the upper respiratory and kind of get into the sinuses and stuff, because a lot of people have some trouble with sinuses. It's, used to, it's very nice to get in touch with that. Um, but uh, we're going to get more, and we're going to do a little bit more of this and, and, and talk about how to get massaged and loosen up, and we'll, we'll do some more of that next week. But this, this in exploration and getting a little bit more in tune with breath to the anatomy and then into the physiological process. So I'm going to invite one more time with one more breath to invite that invigorating oxygen to come in and then the, the stale carbon dioxide to come out. One more breath in and out carbon dioxide. And that's a breath that we could do so easily throughout the day and just take a moment to really feel that vital oxygen coming in and feel it get into the bloodstream and then feel that carbon dioxide come out. All right, I hope this has been uh, uh, helpful for you. If you don't get frustrated, it takes a lot of practice. I've been doing this for years uh, and it's, it, you'd be surprised as you start to engage in this, just even one or two or three times, you start to get good at it and it gets much more comfortable and you think, wow, I, I, how did I ever not know about this? This was, it seems so easy and, and it really is and it makes a difference. So happy breathing, happy wellness. We'll see you tomorrow.